So one more thing I wanted to show you. It's hard to see, but the material the material gives in. You see how it's moving? It's not supposed to be moving like this. It's poorly packed. Probably there is a lot of timber in here. Too many studs. People were lazy getting behind the studs and compacting it properly. You see how the whole section is moving. See how it is. See how it's moving. It's not supposed to be compacted like that. Unfortunately, that's the way up. You see, I told you, lots of timber. Lots of timber, poorly compacted. That's a usual common error. We have soft hempcrete, uh, about two inches of it, as you can see, two inches thick. And the problem was it was too much timber, too many studs in a row. So it was poorly compacted and now it's like uh, falling apart so we're digging it out as you can see the studs are still wet we're digging it out to the point where hemp grit or hemp lime is already firm and but we're digging out all the loose parts that as you can see are easily taken away unfortunately it's hard and nice the crust but it's a common mistake when you have too much timber too many timber elements in a row and the hemp grit thickness is maybe less than two inches or two inches it's an absolute minimum people have this type of uh, problem so we're gonna take it out we're gonna put it in the mixer mix it up with fresh hempcrete and we're gonna patch it up so that's the beauty about hempcrete even if uh, there is a mistake made we can always go back and fix it try to avoid it at all costs because it's taking too much time to take it all apart mixing it up and build it up again uh, you like you would like to do it all at once when you have nice and fresh mix and you tampen it from the top. Now we have to go from the side. This wall is eight, eight inches thick. So this is a pretty thin wall, 20 centimeters. So whenever we have a problem when we're carving out hemp cream, hemp lime, we might damage the other side of the wall. That's why we installed this board. So when we are tamping new hemp cream in, connecting to the old one, we're not pushing it out on the other side of the wall. We wet the surface of the existing hemp and lime mix timber frame elements before we are gonna fill up that gap it's a must i grab a handful of hemp and lime and i dump it in here i hold the board from both sides and i'm compacting it you know and that's the way that's the way to heal your uh, holes is where it has not been compacted very well basically getting to the top tamping it down really hard really really hard so it's nice and firm finally and then we are shifting the foam work upwards and going all the way to the top so yesterday i have showed you how to carve out the loose hemp if there is any inside your wall partitions of course you want to avoid that at any cost but sometimes it's poorly packed or you know whatever re the reasons are but now it's really hard it's drying up pretty well